Yo, yo, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to House of Drake by the channel Meat Canyon. Link is down below in the description. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you go and subscribe. It is very important to support the channels that you love. You're damn right it is. You guys can also support our channel if you want to. If you click on that link down below in the descripto and throw it on the stream, that's going to let you pick one of the next videos we react to. Just keep it under 10 minutes because the video is link title, your email. Follow all of our social media up above. Make sure you go and subscribe to my new Snapchat account. My old one is deleted so you will no longer see me on that one make sure you're on the new one and let's get to the video let's do it this one better be just as good as the earwax the what was it called was it called earwax melvin's macabre yeah that was such a good one you guys go watch it make sure you subscribe to him because he makes the coolest stuff yeah that was awesome the house of drake you want me to come with you up there nah I need to teach these AIDs a lesson. Hello? Dude, this is so creepy looking. Hello? I wanna see how she's doing in chemistry class, third period. Yo, yo. Yo! Who. Who are you? I'm. you. Are you the butthole making all that AI music using my likeness? Hey, yo, oh. bruh, that's gotta <laughs> stop. Technology has come so far. With the click of a couple buttons, I become you. Your fame, your recognition, just with the click of a button. Bro, pause. Dude, who is it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Drake Bell? Yes, it is I, Drake. Drake the Drake Bell. with the <laughs> extra name. You see, when I text underage girls, it's all weird and wrong. You heard about whoa. that, right? Yeah, you did tell me about okay. that. But when you do it, Drake, it's okay. Because it's the girl with that number name from that one show. It's not fair! Now I'm stuck here in this house of outcast. But with the AI, I will be the only Drake. No one will know the difference. And all I need is your face. Bro, where you go, bro? Dude, this is intense. What was that thing that was in like the background? I didn't see it. <gasps> Dude, he's got everybody's face. Oh man. Oh Drake. Don't make this harder than it has to be. I just wanna rip your fucking face off. <laughs> what a sick fuck. Yo, Drake, you good? Huh? Man, are you pulling a joke on me or what's going on? Ah, Jesus Christ, oh, God. Drake Bell, run, Drake, run. <laughs> Dude, what? Get the fuck out of there, dude. Honestly. He's e oh. It's Josh. Stop. Dan Snyder. Dan Snyder. I was gonna say, if they made that Josh, that's fucked up. Josh right. is actually I like Josh still. He the, like I'm a big fan of him now. Um, but Dan Schneider, have you heard of this stuff about him? Uh, I don't he know was Dan apparently is. I don't wanna say it because I don't know, like, but apparently he was like a a perv. He okay. was a weird guy. I apparently, allegedly, I would have to look into it more. 
Well, he just had this dude knocked out sucking on his toes, so. Oh, oh man. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know. You don't deserve the love you get! I'm the drink everyone should love! Me! 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 Ah, yes! Dan Schneider, my old friend! Take your pleasures from Drake's feet! Drake will take his face! All those shows, yeah. No! No, Dan Schneider, not me, Drake! The other Drake! Game oh. over. I never thought I'd say this, but thank you, Dan Schneider. Do it. Yeah, now it's got me like questioning this Dan Schneider shit. I'm gonna look it up. Okay. Holy hell. So, Dan Schneider, he's an American television producer, screenwriter, and actor. After, um, let me see. He's 57 years old. Shows iCarly, Victoria, Zoe 101, Sam and Cat, Drake and Josh. Um, he, like, was so, like, all the Amanda. Those yeah. Live action Nick shows. Yeah. He, and apparently. What's the story Let's about hear it. Dan Schneider? Okay, so McCurdy, uh, Jeanette McCurdy, you remember her? Um, Sam or um, Sam and iCarly. Yep. Okay. Yep. The blonde. Yep. She's the one who wrote the book about her mom too. I was just telling you this about. I was literally just talking about her the other day. Um, she wrote a book about her mom dying, and okay. she was happy that her mom died because she was like, just. I don't know all the details, and I hate to talk about things when I don't know because I haven't read it. But she talks about how she was happy her mom died because she was like, I want to call her a narcissist, but I don't really know the entire details. She was just very controlling, made her eat certain things, and like controlled her life pretty yep. much. So she, that's who that is. Um, but McCurdy alleges that, that the man pressured her into drinking while underage, took inappropriate photos of her, and so on. But she's not the only one. There okay. are a lot of people that came forward saying that um, things happen, sexualizing child stars. He would apparently sexualize a lot of them. Um, I can't remember. i just seen something recently. Oh, a girl came forward and said that they wanted her to do certain things on the show that she didn't realize were bad back then and then she realized as she was older that they were bad like I, I don't know what's true I believe it though right I mean when you have that power and you're you know right new allegations against producer include hypersexual practices at Nickelodeon I wonder what the full story is. An end of investigation into Dan, a former top producer at Nickelodeon who was let go in 2018, has shed light on new allegations of misconduct during his reign at the Children's Cable Network, where he allegedly fostered a maddening, disgusting, controlling little bubble. Um, so let's see. Allegedly insisted on hypersexualized content in his shows, the most revealing teen costumes in male dominated writers' rooms. And that he had also asked for onset massages. The piece said that the showrunner created an uncomfortable, bizarre environment that he ruled over like a fiefdom, whatever that means. It comes on the heels of parallel allegations against an unnamed creator in iCarly star Jeanette McCurdy's best selling memoir, I'm Glad My Mom Died. Hmm. Writers, actors, and crew members told insiders that they were disturbed by sexualized scenes in Schneider's scripts, such as a goo pop shot on Zoe 101 that mimicked a sex act and involved young Jamie Lynn Spears and other instance involved a teenage Victoria Justice having food rubbed on her bare stomach. I remember that part or that episode. Was it messed up looking too? Yeah, I, I do recall there being like, um, like she's sitting there like rubbing it on her stomach and like you know you think as a kid it's just goofy and stupid but as an adult you're like that's not normal and I remember actually thinking it when I watched it I was like that's actually kind of weird weird when and I was younger yeah and I watched it thinking that but like me being like 
I'm the kind of person where back then, if I were in their shoes, I would be like, I don't fucking care. I'm making this much money from it. I don't really give a shit, you know, because it's so small. But you really think about the person making you do it as you get older. Because I'm sure they probably thought it was weird, too. But as you get older, you're like, this is actually way more fucked up than it actually seemed to be when I was young doing that for the money. Because I would do it for the money. It's so, it's small scale. It's not really that bad. But when you really think, but when you really is. think of what's behind it and who's telling, who's writing the script to make you do that, and then everything else that lines up within a period of time with all these different shows, all these girls he's doing it to, and guys he's doing this stuff to, adding all that up, he is a monster. Right. Yeah. So I don't know, but that's the whole dance okay. theater thing. John that's doesn't. What it is. He doesn't really pay attention to a lot of this stuff. And I don't really either unless it comes forward to my attention somehow. So that's like kind of how I know about it. But Weird. Yeah, yeah. He must have a thing for sucking on feet too because it referenced that like Should I look? Time. Google it. Dan Schneider sucking on feet. Ew, I'm not typing that in. Dan Schneider. Okay, for all I know, that'll actually pop up. Ooh, that could be. Jail. Does he have a wife? Married food blogger in 2002. He... Okay, whatever. Um, Sorry, when I start Googling stuff, I look at everything. Is Dan Schneider the... Is he the manager from Good Burger? He looks just like the manager from Good He's Burger. He's an actor, so yeah, I think, yeah. Good Burger, he is. Oh my God, that's where I've seen him before. He's the manager from Good Burger. Yeah, um... Okay... Dan Schneider. Dude, you should have stuck with your Good Burger job down. Kids find feet goofy and funny and there was no effort to sexualize his young stars. Last year, Schneider even addressed the foot fetish rumors when speaking to the New York Times, calling them ridiculous. He told, you know what? I remember, yeah, like this. I remember stuff like that. Where they were putting food on feet and stuff in their shows, and yeah. even in I in this one with Victoria, yeah, they had the foot. She was with I, and on that, yeah, he was all. They were always doing feet things. I remember as a kid watching all those and thinking, it is so weird. Like this, where they had their feet in there and they were drawing on, like putting food and stuff on their feet. Like, it was just weird. Right. It's not silly and goofy if you really look at it. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, like. Maybe, but... He can be silly and goofy, but it just depends, like... But to what extent, you know? Like, I get it. You have to figure out ways to, like, be goofy on shows. And some things might be repetitive. And you don't want to really do repetitive stuff. You want everything to be new and unique because you're a writer and a, a producer or whatever. But putting food on feet and, like, rubbing your stomach with food and... Right. I don't know. It's kind of like one of those iffy ones where it's like, it depends on the guy. Like, is he really this kind of guy or not? That's hard. Like, I could see, like, maybe in, like, a show, there was one silly, goofy foot episode. I definitely think the stomach one was too far. Yeah. Because your your belly is... It can be more sexualized, I guess. Right. Especially when you're putting food on it and you're rubbing it and trying to be goofy. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to tell because it's some borderline stuff where is it or is it not? And it can go either way, right? Yeah, I hate to be that person, you know. Because, right. But anyway, um, if you guys didn't know now, you know now. Yes. Um, go check out the channel. It is Meat Canyon and we will catch you in the next video. See ya. See ya.